Hi, my name is Lance Wilkins. Welcome to this QuickBooks training video. Today we're going to look at another new feature in QuickBooks 2011, and that is the Balance Sheet by Class. The Balance Sheet by Class is only available in QuickBooks Enterprise and in the QuickBooks Premier versions, so you won't get that in Pro. It's been a request for many years, as uh, some companies that uh, ha use the Class feature in QuickBooks have wanted a balance sheet by class in addition to a profit loss statement. Now, a balance sheet by class, though, is much more difficult than a profit loss statement. So let's take a quick look at that. That report is available off the reports menu, company and financial, balance sheet by class, right there. And this is a sample file, and this may be just a little unfair because classes have not been used in this sample file before. And so you see that as we look at the columns across the report, we have an admin class, we have a new construction class, we have a remodel class, and then we have that huge column. By huge, I mean the dollar amounts there in unclassified. Well, there's a lot unclassified because class has been used very little in this sample file. Of course, the other thing to consider is that since balance sheet by class has never been available before, many transactions in QuickBooks that may have used class for income and expense accounts have not used class for balance sheet accounts because there was no way to separate those anyway. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is when you look at this report, it's almost certain that you will have this large column of unclassified that QuickBooks really doesn't know what to do with because it doesn't know what uh, class to put those transactions in. Now, this is not a report for uh, people that don't have a real good foundation in accounting. There will be some complications with this report. You're always going to end up with things that need to be fixed, and you're going to have to know how to do those things. But let me give you just some quick examples here. Uh, just so you know what you're working with. Uh, I'm going to look at these first two lines here, which is basically the checking account and the savings account. Let's double click on this amount for the savings account. And that's, of course, going to pull up a transaction report. These are the transactions that QuickBooks doesn't know what to do with as far as class goes. And to fix this, I can double click on these and pull up the underlying transaction. And so here is a check to savings. If I put uh, the class on here, and let's call this one uh, admin, and then resave it. And if you had done the math, which you, I'm sure you didn't do, uh, when we close that transaction report, you would see that there was a 1250 less in that unclassified column for the savings account. So I could go through line by line because I've eliminated that 1250 now and I could eliminate all those other amounts and I could get that to zero. But you see what a job that would be going down that column. So a couple of things are really important and one is like I said having a real firm foundation in accounting to know what to do with those troublesome transactions that just don't go to a single class. Paychecks is another one that's going to be very difficult to work with if you use the payroll feature. And some of these will have to be done by journal entry to move things around to get them in the right class. One of the most important things is to use the workflows that QuickBooks expects. So we enter bills, we pay bills, we create invoices, we receive payments, we record deposits. Those kinds of things that are outlined on the home page will help reduce the number of transactions that will fall in that unclassified column. Now I know that's not real helpful because that it's just going to be a difficult report to use, but that may give you some idea of whether you want to tackle that or not and um, how to tackle that if you decide to, uh, to take a stab at that. So I hope that's helpful. And there are a number of other new features in QuickBooks 2011 as well. We're going to be documenting those in videos over the next few days. So check back, and I hope those are helpful to you as well. Thanks.